You told yourself to move on. You told yourself it wasn't personal. You even said it's their loss. But your body never believed it. Days pass, weeks, and something still aches. You're not obsessing over what they said, you're carrying what they didn't. It wasn't the no that hurt. It was the space where connection was supposed to be and wasn't. Rejection is not just a moment, it's a message your nervous system reads. Not as disappointment, but as threat. You may still be showing up, still performing, still smiling. But inside, your system is scanning, bracing, pulling back. This is not weakness. It's the echo of rejection being stored in your bioelectric rhythm. Studies show that the brain processes social rejection through the same pathways as physical pain. The anterior cingulate cortex, the brain's alarm system, lights up when we're excluded, ignored, or dismissed. But your body doesn't just react in the moment. It remembers. When you experience chronic or repeated rejection, your nervous system adapts, HRV drops, your heart's flexibility narrows. Salivary alpha amylase spikes, showing hidden stress even when you seem calm. The vagus nerve pulls back, suppressing your ability to socially connect. This is called bioelectric withdrawal. You're not depressed. You're not failing. Your system is quietly protecting itself from the pain of being unseen. So what do we do? We overperform. We numb. We joke about it. We say we're fine. But somewhere in the body, behind the chest, beneath the breath, a pattern forms. A rejection reflex. A subtle pullback every time we hope. A quiet shutdown every time we speak up. Not because we're weak, but because our system has learned that silence might be safer than trying again. So let's be clear. You are not broken. You are not unworthy. You are not overreacting. You are storing something your mind never processed because it never got the closure it needed. This is an emotional weakness. It's neurobiological protection. What looks like numbness is often a nervous system saying, hope hurts too much right now. And the way out is not motivation. It's permission. You don't have to fix it. You don't have to force hope. Begin by noticing, when do you hold your breath? Where does your chest feel heavy? What moments make you brace even just slightly? These are bioelectric breadcrumbs. Let them guide you not to effort, but to restoration. The body doesn't heal by pushing forward. It heals by remembering it's safe to stop running. If this touched something you've never had words for, you're not alone. Rejection lives in the body longer than we admit, but that doesn't mean you have to carry it forever. Tonight, don't push through. Sit with the ache, not to solve it, but to say, I see you. I know why you're here, and I'm not rushing you out. Leave a comment below. What's the one signal your body has been sending that you finally started to hear? Into the quiet truth that you're not alone anymore.